Hey guys, John here with RealTruck.com. Today I want to show you how to install the Track Rack Track 1 Truck Rack on this 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500. We've got our track rack out of the box. You can see here that it's going to come with everything you need to put this on your truck for both the front and rear stands. It comes with your crossbars, all your mounts to mount it up onto the truck, some shims to go underneath to protect the top of your bed rail, and also all your attachment pieces and your mounting hardware and the instructions as well. So let's get this put together and onto this truck. So we're going to take our upright our upright base and our saddle and we're going to put all these together and I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that now. So first thing we're going to do is grab our upright and our upright base and we want to put this together so as that the, the sticker is towards the bottom and facing outward. So it's going to go on just like that and then on the bottom underneath we're going to attach our bolts and the ones you're going to use are these ones with kind of the cone shaped head on them and those are the ones that are going to go in here and we're going to tighten these down. Once we have our bolts in to, to hold our base on to our upright then we can go ahead and attach our saddle and it's going to attach the same way. Now here's a good, a good thing to do guys. Go ahead and hold it up like this. Make sure that this is flat. Go ahead and take and, and put it down so that it's level and make sure that your upright has a slight angle to it facing inward and that your saddle is also level. And that lets you know that you have it on correctly because if you put it on like that, obviously that's not gonna work. So, and that'll let you know that you have it on the right way. Once you know that it's correct, then go ahead and put a couple bolts in it to hold it on as well. There you have it guys, that's one of our stands put together. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and do this three more times for the other ones and uh, get those all together. They go exa together exactly the same way these do and once I get them all done I'll come back and show you what's next. Okay guys, now that our uprights are all assembled and ready to go, it's time to attach our crossbars to them. And what we're gonna do then is we're gonna take these little short bolts and these square, or square nuts, and we're going to actually put these through. You can see here that there's a couple of holes in this saddle here. So we're gonna put these through like so, with the nut being on this side, like so. And we want to do two of those, one on, in each one of these spots. Leave them a little bit loose, don't tighten them up, and I'll show you why here in just a minute if you haven't figured that out yet. Now, once we have these started, then what we're going to do with them is we're going to take them and we're going to slide them onto our crossbar. Now, it's important when you're doing this part to make sure that you actually have this set in the right direction, which we do. And we'll go ahead and turn this upside down so those hang down a little bit and make it easier. And then we're gonna slip them into the slot, this slot right here in our crossbar. Now, I should probably tell you guys though, before we get too far here, because there is a difference in the top and the bottom of this. You can see the top of this has some different ridges and such on it, or the bottom part of it rather does. On the top, it's just kind of smooth and rolled just with the slot down the center. So there you go, you have some different steps here on it. Smooth, that's how you know the difference. This is the spot with the stepped areas on it is the ones that you're gonna be attaching the saddle to. Okay, once we have those attached, then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna snug this down so this don't fall off while we're attaching the other side. Now we're not going to get overzealous and really t crank them down because we might need to adjust it a little bit so I'm going to leave it a little bit loose and then we're going to grab the one for the other side and we're going to do the same thing with it. And snug this one down so it doesn't slide off either. 
So what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and set this piece off to the side and build our other one and it's going to be just the same as this and uh, then we'll be ready to start putting them on the truck. So everything's together here. The next thing we're going to do then is we're going to attach our tie down eyelets and what we want then is you'll find there's four bolts that look like this. They don't have any type of a, a screw head or anything on them, they're just flat. And we're going to start those in the bottom of our eyelet. And then once we get those started on our eyelet, then we're going to slide them onto our rack. And then we can just twist them down. All right, once our eye hooks are attached to our cross rails, then we want to attach our end pieces. And uh, what we're going to do with those is, if you look on here, you can see there's one end of this that's kind of got some ridges that move, that are kind of upwards on it. And if you actually look at it, you can see it kind of goes up diagonally. The part we want to put on is the bottom flat part, and that's the part that's going to go down. Now remember I told you we wanted to leave these, uh, these legs or uprights loose so we could move them if we needed to, and this is one of those times because we need to move it in so that we can get to the hole that's underneath here, which really is kind of hard to see, but trust me, it's there. And uh, we're going to be attaching this screw into there. Okay, now one thing to keep in mind here guys is just don't over tighten this. Uh, it just has to be snug it's just to keep these closed in so you don't get a bunch of muck and yuck up inside your rails. Now that we've got our uprights all together and everything ready to go there, it's time to put it on the truck. So what we're going to do then is we're going to take our rounded shims, that's these rubber pieces that came in our box of stuff, and we're going to just take these and we're just going to lay them right about where that's going to be sitting on the truck and uh, we're going to do that on each side and then we're going to put the front one on first and then we're going to do the back one. So I'm going to go ahead and set these shims up on both sides of the truck and then I'm going to grab that upright and put it up here and I'll show you guys how to get it all attached and adjusted onto the truck. Just like so. And then once we have that up in place, then we're ready to get our clamps and start attaching it to the truck. All right, so we're ready to attach our uprights to our truck bed, but the first thing we need to do is put these clamps together. Really simple, you're gonna take the clamp and the long bolts that come with it, and you're gonna thread them right into the bottom of this. And uh, I'm just gonna use this, run it down a little bit. And then we're ready to attach it to our upright into our truck bed. Then you'll have these flat pieces here. These are gonna go on like so, and they just sit in here, and uh, they're to help secure it to the bed. Once we have this all together, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to attach it, and that's a really simple thing to do. And it's just a matter of taking these, and you can see how they've kinda of got this notch on them here. That's gonna actually sit right in this, this little indent on the top of our iframe. So let's put this up on here. We're gonna set that right up on here. Now, you're probably wondering about this because we have this big section in our bed where we're not gonna be able to put the clamp up there, but as long as you have these clamps at least three inches apart, then you're gonna be fine. It's not gonna reduce the load bearing capability of the rack system. However, if you get them less than three inches, then you're gonna start reducing the, the load bearing capability. So keep that in mind when you're putting this together. So once we have that in place, I'm just gonna take this and run this up in there. Now, once these are attached, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a torque wrench and we're going to torque these to 10 foot pounds. And then we'll do the other side and it's gonna attach just like this. So I'll do this one, I'll go over and do the other side and then we'll be ready to put the, the rear upright on.
On the back ones here, something to keep in, uh, in mind, unlike our front where they only need to be three inches apart, in the back you need to have them at least seven inches apart. So you're gonna wanna make sure that your, your rack is slid only back towards the back of your truck as far as you can go to still allow seven inches in between your clamps. So if you were to set this all the way back here to the back, obviously there's not enough space in here because of the design of the truck to allow seven inches. So what we did with ours is we just set them about a half an inch to the front of our stake pocket holes and that gives us the seven inches we need in here in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up, torque these down, do the other side and then all we'll have left to do is adjust our cross rails and tighten them down and then this will be a done deal. Okay guys, there you have it. That's how quick and easy it is to install the track rack, track one onto your truck. So remember, until next time, happy motoring.